Hey YouTube, welcome back, guys. So as you know, I'm uh, trying to uh, pass a smart check for this uh, Honda Civic. The reason it did not pass because I disconnect the battery and clear some code to when I did the test on the OBD2 uh, scanner. So once you did that, the computer or the ECU needs to relearn and everything about your driving cycle, habits and everything like that. So I've been driving for about almost 700 uh, miles already. I kind of go back to the technician for the small check. He told me the only thing I could do is just keep on driving. So I, actually I did some uh, research. So hopefully this uh, the research that I did is going to work. Because uh, the only thing that is a uh, catalyst uh, converter is giving me the red. So that means uh, that one is not ready or incomplete. So let me uh, turn on the car real quick on the ACC or the on. So I've been driving for 697 miles already and still not ready. So today we're going to uh, do the test on this one real quick. It says I need to start the car and warm up real quick. And then after that, I'm going to uh, hit the gas and uh, ride up to the 3000 RPM for like uh, 3 minutes. Hopefully that will check the catalyst computer uh, not ready. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to use this uh, Innova 6200P that I did unbox uh, last time. So. I'm going to plug it in. Good thing about this one, this one, the connector has like a flash light uh, built in. Alright, so as you can see right there, the, it says a uh, cat in the red flashing is now ready. Alright? So let's go ahead and then I need to back out real quick because uh, I'm inside the garage. I don't want to smell the fume and then uh, pass out or something. So. Okay, I'm going to reverse it real quick. So yeah, I did that warm up before last time. Uh, I put on the AC, the rear defroster, run it for like a couple minutes. And I drove on the freeway 55 mile, between 55 mile to uh, 60 uh, mile per hour for a couple minutes. But the only thing I didn't do is to uh, let it coast down to 20 mile per hour or put it to stop. I think yeah, we would need to do that when I going to like an emergency lane or something like that because it's uh, kind of quite dangerous but uh, a lot of people saying that you want to do that um, first thing in the morning when there's nobody around so and then after that you're gonna drive out under the city for around 30 to 35 miles with the stop and go for another uh, 10 minutes or so and one guy did that and then uh, he passed a small check so I don't know, let's see. But sometimes my friend told me it might take up to like 1,000 miles. Alright, so let's go ahead and get ready. I'm going to uh, ramp up the gas or the RPM to uh, 3,000. And uh, I will need to time it too, so set the alarm for 3 minutes. 4.36 p.m.
little bit one more minute because I started a bit late. I'll stop at 4.37. Alright, so I'm going to let her idle for like uh, 20 seconds and then uh, shut out the engine and then uh, we're going to do the retest it again. And then uh, I saw another guy uh, saying that they didn't pass, so they uh, the drive started going like he did. And then uh, after that, he uh, went to the parking lot, driving up to 55 miles, and then uh, let the coast to completely stop. And he did that for like, a couple of times, and then it uh, allowed him to pass. So, so we're going to see if uh, this method doesn't work, so I would need to uh, do the driving cycle again for a couple more times. So. Alright, so I'm going to unplug it. Yeah, it's still not working because uh, you see the red light right there. I mean, uh, it's not ready, and it's still blinking. All right, so under this uh, scanner, we can see the drive cycle procedure. It shows a uh, complete monitors. So this is all the monitor has been uh, completed. Uh, misfire monitor, fuel system monitor, oxygen sensor monitor, Comprehensive component monitor, oxygen sensor heater monitor, EGR system monitor, EVAS system monitor, they all been passed except uh, CATASA monitor. If we go in, it show you the what is why is it not uh, readiness. And you give some kind of precondition right here. Alright? So yeah, this uh, scan tool is pretty nice. It uh, explains everything in detail. If you don't have a scanner, you could just uh, remove the key and then uh, insert the key, put it into the on position without starting the car. And you gotta look at the engine light. When the engine lights uh, start flashing for five minutes, that means your uh, IM readiness is not ready. One, two, three, four. Bye. Yeah, so it is still not ready. So yeah, unfortunately, I would need to uh, try some more. So, well, some vehicle get lucky, some vehicle you gotta do more driving. So, anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop any comments on below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always. Peace.